Hello and welcome back to another video of mine. This time we're back for a preview. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done a preview to a game because of the international break. But I'm talking about the Wolves against Cardiff game which is taking place this Saturday the 1st of April at Molyneux. A couple of things just before we get started. If you are interested in the Wolves and you want to hear all the gossip and news that's been going on then make sure you subscribe to my channel now because every Wednesday I'll be doing a little piece, five minutes or so, catching up on all the news and transfer rumours. Also, a little bit of news from today, Laurie Lowry, Laurie Lowry Dalrymple has been on the YouTube channel, the Wolves official YouTube channel, and has announced that we've reached 10,000 season ticket sales in the early bird, which closes next week. And apparently he says that we are a week ahead of where we were last season in terms of that. And the deal is that if we manage to reach 16,500 season ticket sales by the end of May, then the people who have bought their season tickets in the early bird window will be rewarded with some sort of refund. I think there is, I did have a letter recently that broke it down. So I think if you buy a season ticket in the North Bank, you'll get about £50 refund. He also announced that finally, at last, after what I reckon is about 10 years, we'll be having screens back at Molyneux. Those two big, massive, old-fashioned things are going to be replaced by two brand spanking new digital screens and also an upgrade on the PA system as well, which is great because every time I've gone recently, I haven't been able to hear what's going on. So that's something positive as well. Another thing, finally, about other than the Cardiff match, is that the South Bank are going to be allowed to bring in flags and I think, the, I think from what it... But what I understand is that the club are making certain banners and flags for them to bring in. So what do you think about that? Do you think it's a good idea? I think it's sort of following the European trend and I'd rather just look like Liverpool and Brissy Dortmund. But I've got a feeling that we might end up looking like Crystal Palace. So to the match, Cardiff beat us of course in December 2-1. It was one of the worst performances I've seen from a Wolves team. We took the lead early on from Doherty but then in the second half we just did not turn up. Cardiff also did the double over us last season and they'll be hoping to do the same again. Their form has picked up a lot since we played them at Christmas time. They were near the bottom of the table. They've got up to safety and they're comfortably mid-table. They'll finish, they'll finish in the top half, maybe, if they have a good run for the rest of the season. And Neil Warnock has built a good team there and because of his experience and his knowledge of the Championship, he's been able to use his tactical awareness. They've to get them out, out of trouble. Talking of their tactics, they've played pretty much 4-4-2 all season. They've Little variations on it, like in the last game they played 4-4-1-1. I don't expect there'll be anything different, anything amazing on Saturday. It'll be pretty much what to expect from a Warnock team. Uh, but they've got a couple of good players to watch out for, in particular Zahore, who scored 10 goals. He looks a good prospect, he's only 23. Um, so we've got to make sure that we can negate his attacking threat. So just looking at... Uh, the strengths and the weaknesses of Cardiff, very much like us, I think they play long ball football, not really happy to have the ball, they'd much rather sort of counter attack and be, they, they score a lot of goals from set pieces and things like that, so they're not the best footballing team, but that's not what we expect from a Neil Warnock team anyway. Because Cardiff are not very good at keeping possession, I'm a little bit worried that it might turn into a little bit like the Rotherham game. Because we might have a lot of possession, I think we struggle to keep the intensity up that we'd managed to do away from home. In the Brentford and the Fulham game, it sounded like we were fast and attacking and going forward. But against Rotherham, we were really, really struggled to get the ball through the midfield and up to the attackers. And hopefully, it may be the new freer roles of the front four. I think hopefully that could make it a bit easier for the midfield players. I think Lee Evans is key as well. I hope he plays on Saturday because he has been able to run the ball forward and get the ball up to those attacking players a bit faster. So Wolves need to capitalise on their good form recently. They've won three games in a row. They have, haven't have won back-to-back -back games in the Championship at home this season yet. So maybe it can happen on Saturday, although I'm not particularly confident. Although I don't think we'll lose. I think it'll be a good-spirited draw, uh, score draw, because I don't think either defence is particularly brilliant. Uh, so yeah, my quickly, my team for Saturday. I've got Akimi in goal. Williamson and Hawes in centre-backs, Cody and Doherty, full-backs, Evans and Edwards in the middle, 
And then the front four of Costa, Marshall, Cavaliero and Wyman. You can get an early goal, it might settle a few nerves because obviously the players, I don't think, enjoy playing at home. Whether these flags and things, the rumours that they're going to be there tomorrow, whether they might make a difference, I don't know. But the crowd is usually quite active and vocal for a Cardiff match. I remember a particular game back in 2006 where for some reason or other, I believe it was because the bar in the Steve Bull lower stopped serving alcohol at half time and the Cardiff fans weren't very happy with that and they rushed out onto the pitch and the kick off to the second half was delayed and as I remember it there were Cardiff fans standing on the grass for the whole second half they were just but they were quite well behaved mind <laughs> so I don't know what happened there if there's any Cardiff fans watching and you want to defend yourselves because from our point of view it was your fault but of course there were a couple of games then after that that where the Cardiff fans were banned from the ground. We had to go to Ninian Park in a bubble. So yeah, this I'm hoping it's a quite a feisty game. Right, thank you all once again for watching. If you want to watch the Wolves Wednesday video, I'll put a link there. If you want to watch any of my previews or reviews of any of the games so far, you can watch that there. And please subscribe. I'm nearly at 100 subscribers. I've about 22 more to go. So if you want to help me do that, then click that button there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.